YouTube, the build vid is here. The greatest ISO build on the game, a hundred percent confirmed. We are in the stage versus the lockdowns, and they can not guard me. B -b Mestizo. ISO isn't the meta, you idiots! I'm at the stage versus the lockdowns doing whatever I want. ISO meta, quick kills, long Steezo combos. That's what I make this channel for to teach y'all how to cook up every year. I by far have the fastest build that can still shoot with access to all of the dribble moves. We broke the game again. And we're gonna get right into it. Hit the likes, turn the noties on, and the subscription. We got the jump shot in the build and the dribble tutorial coming next because I gotta teach y'all this. Nobody can guard me with this build and the combination of all the things. That's what this channel is for because I don't care about being the greatest. I want y'all to be the greatest. That's why I'm giving y'all the sauce. Let's get right into it immediately. Six foot two is the height all my tall build lovers out there i will make a tall build eventually but i hate to break it to you the small builds got it this year and i went with the six foot two they are just too fast and we know on the iso build speed kills it truly does tall builds are nice but i'm just too fast i have legendary not hall of fame legendary lightning launch off the launch but we'll get into from top to bottom what you need to put on it starting with the finishing go ahead and copy my stats right there i went 80 driving layup 80 dunk 69 close shot 45 standing dunk 34 post control but it's really just about the driving dunk Bustizo, what about the contacts you don't need contacts the only dunk package you need and i'm gonna give y'all Easter egg right here because I love y'all. Malik Monk dunk package are by far the best dunks in the game. You see how I'm driving to the rim. I'm driving with such tenacity, such force. They cannot catch up with me. He has the best dunk package and to unlock his dunk package all you need is an 80 driving dunk and a 70 vertical and you see the way I'm driving to that rim. I'm aggressive as fuck. Just look at me. They cannot catch up. I'm pretty sure the only dunk package I have on is Malik Monk and some standing dunks. And you see how I'm driving to the rim. You see the legendary lightning launch, which we're going to get into. How I'm the fastest in the fucking game. This build is absolutely broken. I'm hitting y'all with the quick kills in the stage just to show y'all it can win. You already seen the Steezo dribbling. You can add whatever you want to the game. You don't have to do the long combos like me. You could take little pieces I do, add it to your game. All you need to know is you can win with this style with ISO it is the meta continuing the video now next we have the shooting yes now for my shooting I know people like to go high three ball low three ball I went somewhere in the middle but you see my shot is still money I have a 94 three-point shot but I put my wingspan to six foot three wingspan so that when I get the plus five at superstar or starter three, whatever it is, I can put plus five to get a 99 three point shot. So you see where I'm going with this. 94 now, hit starter three to get the plus five to get the 99 three. And I'm still not five foot 10. I didn't have to go super midget build to get the 99. I didn't get the 98, 97 off rip, because why would I? When I hit starter three, I could just do the plus five. And you have to go small wingspan to have enough to put the plus five on there. So yes, I started with the 94, but we plan on putting it to a 99. And I'm not gonna lie to you, even with a 94, I shoot very, very good, as you can see. Because a lot of it is just about getting open, having the right custom. Let me get 10K likes. I will drop the jump shot. I think I got the best jump shot in the game, especially off the dribble, blinking, fades. I'm pretty sure I got the greatest jumper until I find something else. But 
Like I said, the difference between my build video and a lot of build videos, I tested the game. I didn't play it early. I've been playing. It's tested against stage locks. It's tested in the park. It's tested in the proving grounds. It is a tested build. You know I take my time. I don't want y'all to waste y'all money. This build is proven to be good. Now here is where we get to the interesting part. It is the playmaking stats. I have what you see, an 85 pass accuracy. Now this is a very controversial topic when it comes to making builds some people say you can get away with low pass act but since we tested the game since we go against sweaty sweats in the stage and some more we know that everybody just hawks lanes the lane steals in this game are absolutely broken so why would you want to have the slow pass to the corner on an iso i have an 85 pass act and as you can see i throw steamers I be dotting shit. People think I don't pass. No, I don't clip the passes because it's not that cool to me. But there's some cool shit. Look at this. Look at me. I'm throwing steamers. And even with the overpowered lane steals, they still can't get to my passes. So, yes, I go 85. Now, people think that you don't need bailout. Me, personally, I like bailout. I like to know if I drive to the rim. And then that fucking center or lock or guard, whatever, swings, I can pass out of my dunk. I like the ability to pass out of things. So, of course, I'm going to go bronze bailout, 85 pass hack. You will throw steamers. If you go up for a dunk and the help defense comes, you can pass out of the dunk. It's just the smartest thing to do when you're isoing. I'm Steezo. I know what I'm talking about. Then I went with a 94 ball handle, which gets you gold ankle assassin i don't have the hoff but i don't need it because the ankles in this game are absolutely broken as well look at the gold i'm still catching bodies hall of fame handles for days another important badge to have we like to dribble and then gold unpluckable is all you need because i'm not gonna lie you can kind of dribble through a lot of things this year i know they say they're going in a more realistic route but yeah i'm literally dribbling through people Gold unpluckable is all you need, and this is the part that separates my build from everybody. I went with a 94 speed with ball, which gives you legendary lightning launch off the rip, and you see it working. I have the fastest build. When it comes to a 2K with strong defense, you need to just be fast. I'm fast as shit. Look at me. That is one thing I will say about this 2K. The speed boost, the burst on this game, if you use my SIGs, is probably the fastest speed boost we've had in a couple years because I have the greatest SIGs. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, turn the noties on. I'm going to drop my SIGs next, but I am zooming with this build. It's like speed boosting is definitely back. I speed boost a lot this year because it's just too quick look at the burst it's definitely the legendary lightning launch that's why it's important to make my build that badge right there is broken the locks cannot keep up with the legendary lightning launch you will get to the fucking rim with that or you go to the side and you hit a peak i'll teach y'all to do peaks i'll teach y'all the dunks i got y'all but right now we get through the build video so legendary lightning launch with the ball handle with the pass act perfect combination and let's get to the defense now as you can see i went with an 85 steel 74 perim for the badges 50 interior with the 55 block now the block and interior you know the contest system is very much broken in this game i'm not sure it even matters but where the defense comes through is the steel i have gold interceptor like i said those lanes are broken my build is broken with the brokenness it can get in the lanes i get a lot of steals they try to get me on an island and they try to bitch me, but I am not a defensive liability that would be a lie to my ability. So I had to give it at least 74 perim, which gets you challenger, on ball menace, and pick dodger with an 85 steal that gets you the gold interceptor, a little bit of interior, and a little bit of block to contest and jump at the defenders. 
I'm making these no defensive builds, y'all. That is not the wave. You will get picked on. You will get bullied. But not with my build. And as far as rebounding, we went 25-35. I guess you're going to need to see that to complete it. And to finish it off with the vitals, we have an 89 speed, 80 agility, 35 strength, and the 70 vertical to get the Malik Monk dunks. And that's pretty much all you need. 80 agility is fine. Like I said, I'm not the prime defender. And an 89 speed, fast enough. You can cut, you can dex. That is all the vitals you need. And if you've done everything in this bid correctly, you should have built a shot creating three level threat aka the iso meta build dave bing De'Aaron fox jordan Poole. that's that's kind of crazy who the heck is dave bing he's probably goaded let me know if y'all know dave bing he gotta be goaded you know i built the shade of him and that's gonna wrap up this video for the iso meta glitch build now like i said i gotta give y'all the six i gotta give you the jumper those videos are coming next turn the noties on because everything together is the reason why i'm able to cook anybody and i want to make y'all be able to cook anybody as well like i said i love y'all i don't care about being the greatest at all i want y'all to be the greatest that's why we make this channel that's why we drop the cigs that's why we give y'all the sauce and who better to give you the sauce than stizo we do this every year i make about one to two builds a year i always find the best cigs and like i said this this year is different we're doing meta moves and the stizo moves and then even a combination of both so this year especially since the movement is so cruise it's so different i want a little bit for everybody watching you don't have to be a dribbler to use my sigs you can win in the stage with it you can win on all levels with it even if it's just a piece i will find the fastest most efficient way not only to dribble but to score and more importantly to win because that's the biggest misconception about me people think i'm a dribbler first I'm, i was a count player before anything i like to win and if you like to win then why not do what winners do you know pick up on if not everything even a little bit it's good it's formidable for all play styles this year the dribbling is very very skill based this year if you don't know how to move you will get clamped and with that being said we got everything coming next i love every single one of y'all know he's on subscribe if you're new jump shot six tutorial all coming next my bad for taking so long with this i just can't give y'all a bad build i have to test it out be 100 percent sure and i'm sure about this one i love every single one of y'all have a beautiful day <coughs> I live in a constant state of fear and misery Do you miss me anymore? And I don't even notice when it hurts anymore, 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 anymore